We live? We are live. We live, baby. Welcome back to another episode of Identical Opposites Podcast slash show, whatever you want to call us. I'm your co-host, AJ Jackson. I'm your other co-host, Ian Hook. How the fuck you doing? Yo, we back again. Again. <laughs> again. Again, 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 again. How's, how's, how's it been? How's life been? Shit. No pun intended. Shitty. Uh, I got Ooh. I got sick. Oh, um, and yet when I went to DC, you no, sick no, no, now? No, 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 no. Because no, DC no. was just like a couple days no, no, ago. No, 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 last week. That's why we didn't record last week. Yeah, but I got no. I got a stomach bug on the plane. I'm chilling, dude. I got a stomach bug on the plane, and my so I got something on the plane, which I'm fine now. Put it down. Oh, uh-uh. put it down. No. <laughs> um. I got something on the plane. It fucked me up. The wedding was Saturday, and mm-hmm. I couldn't, like, if I moved the wrong way in my stomach, like, it just tensed, up, like, the entire thing. My stomach was a rock, dude. Like, oh. I didn't have any, like, ab definition anymore. Like, it was just a solid cramp of a, like, I would just get random different spots of, like, pains, and, like, it wasn't just cramps, dude. I was getting, like, stabbing pains in my stomach. I was like, oh, I'm fucked, mm-hmm. dude. I'm so fucked. Uh, could barely eat anything, but I was like so much heavier because I just like was so just like bloated. Like I just had huh. the worst digestion and everything. I, it was terrible, bro. I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain. I could not move. I tried it um, Sunday, got a little bit better. Monday, same thing as Saturday. Mm-hmm. Wrecked. Like I was wrecked and I had legs and I was just like, all right, maybe if I move my body a little bit, like I'll be better, blah, 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 whatever. I put a I put my lifting belt on uh-huh. to my stomach to to do um hack squat. Yeah. Bro, as soon as I put that belt on and I took one breath, like I literally thought my organs were going to explode out of my Ew. stomach. Bro, I was so That's not a stomach bug though. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was. I don't know what he has it some could be. Foreign ass disease and now he's spreading it to me bro but like or i ate something bad but i thought i got it from somebody on the plane because like i didn't eat anything crazy like i didn't eat anything like off plane or like it was so weird um and then it was getting a little bit better and then as of this morning i just realized for the past four to five days <laughs> i was drinking my coffee with expired creamer mm, that's like bad yeah, That's so at work, like when I, w- I wake up at like 6 20, 6 30 for work, and like for all you people that wake up early and like you're like ready for go for the day, I'm not like that. Like it takes me a second, it takes me a second too. Yeah, so like my Man, lights are off in the morning day. and stuff like that. So like when I'm having my coffee in the morning, like I haven't been looking down, and like this morning I took a little sip and I was just like, that's weird. Like I thought I stirred it, like and I use like the I like I like my coffee black, but if I have creamer. I don't know why I always laugh when people say that. I do, <laughs> but like if I have creamer, which I did, I I'll like I'll just put a little splash in it just for a little bit of flavor. But like it's the most minuscule thing ever. But like I took a sip and I saw like it was like the creamer was like mainly at the top, and I stirred it again, and it like literally three seconds later floated back up to the top and had like a film, and I was like, oh, that's bad. And then Ugh. there was a little white thing. I was like, oh, they chunk up. Not chunk up, but like it was just like not mixing, and just kept going to the top as like a film and like little like white dots, like not chunky, but like little. I guess so. It was getting there, and I was just like, I've been drinking that since I got back from the plane, and I was like, that definitely didn't help. So, uh, yesterday was probably like the best I felt, and today like, I'm pretty chilling. Okay, but it was. Okay. Fucking bad, dude. Like, work on Monday was terrible because it was, like, Monday was, if not worse, just as bad for sure as mm-hmm. Saturday. Like, the first day I was down bad, and that was, wedding was Saturday. And I was like, Ugh. But, yeah, I was in D.C. It wrecked me, ruined me. Uh, I'm trying to get back on track now. That's my update. Um, I literally have, like, been, like, half-assing all my workouts this week because I've been down bad, like, really? so down bad. I can't, I couldn't move. When I tell you the amount of pain where I put that lifting belt on and I literally just went like to like go down, you know how like you're supposed to like take a big deep breath in like mm-hmm. when you're about to go down for like a, like a squat or anything like that. Right. And then exhale, obviously. Dude, 
I literally, like, it was the most painful thing ever. I racked so quick, and I was like, nope, took that thing off. Because, <laughs> like, it was just compressing on something that was already fucked. Like, I can't, ex- I can't explain yeah. the level of, like, it was, like, hitting metal. Like, my stomach almost. Like, it was a rock. There was no give in my stomach. That's not a stomach bug. What do you, you think that something. is, bro? bro food like, poisoning? Like a form of food poisoning? But I didn't throw up. Not once. I don't know. I never heard of, like, stomach getting rock solid. Bro, like, I didn't, like, I thought food poisoning was, like, you go to the bathroom a lot, and you go, and you throw up. I wasn't doing either of those. Yeah, food poisoning is I more, I was just like, super backed up. You're just down. <laughs> Sorry we're talking about this right now. <laughs> but, like, I couldn't throw up. I couldn't do anything. Huh. You got some disease. Watch. There's something's going to come out in the news or something. And you get a reason like, ah. And then it's going to be something that the symptoms are going to be exactly what she was experiencing. And now we're going to be in another pandemic. And yeah. Am I? Fuck, bro. What's that called? Like my like sub, is it, what is it like? Subject A or something like that? Uh, Yeah, something like that. Or like, I know what you mean. There's yeah. a special word for that. Uh, I was about to say testant. Um, I know what you mean. Yeah. It's just not coming to me, but yes. Yeah. I think that's what happened to my sister when COVID first came around. She was down bad before like COVID was like a thing. I had it too. Yeah. I had she, it. I had it uh, a month before. Yeah. She was like in December, like it, during the Christmas holiday, she just had this like awful cough and she was like, bro, I feel bad. And then it just lasted for like the whole month. And then I think it was like, what January, February of next year? They announced that COVID was a thing. And she, oh, she had like, it way early. Yeah, she had it like way before nah. like COVID. Was I had even it a month. Be- I had it a month before people were like, "Hey, COVID's a thing," and I was like, "I, I was like, I just had that shit." Yeah. So, you're yeah, you're probably Project A or what, what did you say? Subject A. Subject A. Yeah. It's gonna happen, bro. It was and bad. It was now bad. I'm exposed. I now, was. I was almost crying to, co- to uh, I said to coach, to Brooks. Really? Like, I was just like, bro, like, oh, we are not okay. Like, we are not okay. And, like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, like, text him, like, on Saturday just in case he was just like, a, like, a, oh, I ate some. I didn't think I ate anything, but, like, just in case he was just like a one and done thing. Right. And then, obviously, Sunday, like, it, well, I didn't feel great by any means, but I was just like, oh, like, at least I have an appetite today. I also didn't have an, I couldn't eat. I had no appetite. I had no desire to eat because I was in so much pain. Mm-hmm. So, like, Sunday, I was like, okay, I could eat some of my meals today for sure. And I did. But then Monday was right back to it. So, I didn't text him Saturday or Sunday. And then Monday, I was just like, yeah, we got a lot to talk about on our next check-ins. Uh, it was, oh, man, that sucked. And, like, I'm definitely not 100%, but, like, whoo. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How about you? Man. I don't know. Well, I do know. But it's been chilling, bro. Yeah, Life's good. been good. Um, is that a bear bear? I don't know. It's one of his true toys. Sorry, got distracted. But, um, yeah, man. I've been... I want to say I'm on a high right now, but I've been, life's been good, I'm on a high bro. right now. Yeah, and life's been good, bro. Like Good. Jim finally... Connecting back in the gym, I feel I'm finding my way back, which is nice. And yeah. then um, work's been great. Uh, yeah, like that, that's basically it. Like on a things, high right now. Yeah, just on a high right now. So just riding it out, you know, trying to not determine things yeah. to happen. Just I'm just flowing in this wave of things that kind of are going i do have a clear mind i think about i think we talked about this last time or like the time before last time but um i'm becoming more confident and more knowledgeable and also i know where i need to go and where to go next yeah in life Love so, to hear that. Yeah, it's just it's it's great, bro. Love to hear that. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm in, I'm getting in the same boat. I'm very happy about it. Oh, you are really cuddling up. Okay, hello, oh boy. I know. Sorry about this moment. Here, right here. Your dog's white. 
You know how I know that? Huh? You, your dog's white. How do you know that? Because he licks. The fuck? You haven't seen that? My sister told me about it. Like, if you put your face up to the Newton right now, and if he licks you, your dog's white. That's not true. Black dogs don't lick. That is not true <laughs> at all. Black dogs don't lick. Shut the fuck Who up. Who black dogs don't lick? Bro, look, but like Newton's if you're, looking at you like, bro, stop. If you're, if you're, the dog is white, it'll lick you. No, stop. That's that, how bro. you know. Stop it. Like, my bro, he's black, but he has a white dog. Stop it. <laughs> stop. All right. I swear. But anyways, continue. What was I saying? You saying something about you feeling good. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling really good about, like, life lately. We're really good. Except, for, like, literally, like, this past week was, like, what, like threw me off completely. But, like, yeah, I've been kind of, like, riding a good wave. I feel like I'm very excited to fucking move in two weeks. Oh, uh, yeah. Update for the new scenery. I was about to ask about that. Yeah. Two Just weeks. Move. Two weeks. Uh, Is it bigger? Huh? It's, uh, slightly, slightly bigger. It's more about area yeah you're right on well right on the like yeah, yeah. We don't <laughs> <need to say. laughs> i don't know i didn't know we don't need to say it <laughs> i didn't know if you want to we don't need disclose. to do all that but it is a long span so they will never know but still no but like yeah no yeah so, uh yeah that's funny <laughs> <laughs> i was just i was, I was like ah. well i was about to i stopped myself and then Same. you just kept going and you was like oh okay i was like i know where you're why you're stopping now um, yeah, um, I'm excited about that. Work's been great. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I wanted to bring something up, but, like, it's, like, so, like, 180. So, like, if you wanted to, like... <laughs> Do you know I just want to just bring it up at this point? Bro, do you know who the female basketball player is, Sedona? She's just, like, six nine white chick. WNBA? No, she's a, she's been playing in college since like pre COVID. Like she's like a super 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 senior. Oh no, I very don't. famous on TikTok. No, I don't. played for Oregon, then played for TCU. No, I don't. All right, well, there's a lot of shit going on with her, and like I got down a rabbit hole last night of going through TikTok. And like what? I wish we, I wish you would. I knew a little bit about it, but it's fine. I'll explain it to you, and yeah. you tell me your thoughts. So Sedona is a lesbian. Mm-hmm. And she's very well known on TikTok for, um, like, she started becoming famous by like um, March Madness COVID, like where they were all locked in. Like she right. was like vlogging day day to days, like, oh, like what what are they giving us in our hotel rooms right. for lunch, like during COVID because they they were in like a bubble, right? You know, like how NBA did it and shit. So she got very famous then about like posting like oh today like we got another muffin or today we got like yeah, hey, yeah, today's yeah. dinner blah blah, blah. Yeah. um and then obviously like practice and stuff like that so she like blew up and then obviously like she started po- posting more about like lifestyle stuff posting more about her girlfriend blah blah, blah. Mm-hmm. so uh i think she had a girl like a different girlfriend when she started popping off and during covid but she was dating this girl now her ex-girlfriend olivia okay okay and I didn't. Think, I didn't like hear. I don't like. She is. She's not one of the people that come up consistently. Consistently on my TikTok. Mm-hmm. Like I'll see her every once in a while, and I obviously knew her from COVID. Right. It came up a lot, and somebody posted like, "What happened with Sedona?" And I was like, "What the fuck are y'all talking about?" Because I, I, yeah. I heard. Yeah, the, yeah. I re- remember the name, and supposedly <laughs> like she's like, she, there's a petition and a ballot to kick her off the women's TCU team. Oh, because she's like a super, super, super senior. Not only that, or but she? she's spo- she's a horrible person, I guess. Oh, okay. And she like abused her girlfriend, and is like, oh, bro, it's crazy. So I'll just give you the rundown. I guess for Sedona's birthday, that was whenever a few months ago. Mm-hmm. Her, she, she went. Her and Olivia, her her now ex girlfriend, went right. to Mexico. They went on ATVs. Okay. Sedona was driving and Olivia was on the back. Mm-hmm. Olivia's Girl. smaller. Like Sedona's huge, bro. She's yeah, fucking she's, giant. And she's six eight. Yeah, and um, so Olivia's like this little thing. She, I guess she was like scared, uh-huh. and she's like telling her stop, 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 stop. Like slow down. And instead of slowing down or even going faster, she pushes her off the ATV, and they're like in a jungle in like Tulum, like pitch black. Oh. And she just goes. Huh. And so supposedly she 
kicks her, like literally throws her girlfriend off this ATV, drives around, comes back. I, I missed a part in the clip where I don't know like if they drove back together or what, but as they were like going heading back to the hotel, she's on like the strip, like where everybody at, at where everybody is and like all the other resorts and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And she's just like screaming like I'm single bitches. I'm single. And like this girl, Olivia is paying for this trip for her, right. for her birthday. And like she's, and her birthday was the following day. Yeah. So like, I guess like next day happens. It's her birthday. She, um, Olivia was just like, Oh, like I'll just try to forget about it. Like last night, right. like whatever, like that was fucked up. She's screaming, I'm single, who want like who wants to get with me? All this shit. Right. Crazy stuff. And she's still like forgetting, overlooking it just because it's her birthday and trying to still have a good day right. to celebrate. So she goes up to her, it's just like, let's forget about last night uh -huh. and like let's have a night. Sedona literally goes, she's like, nah, fuck you. She's like, fuck you, fuck this. Like, I don't want to spend my birthday with you as this girl's paying for the trip for right. her. She's like, fuck you. I don't want to spend my birthday with you. Like, I don't care what you do, but I'm not spending it with you, blah, blah, blah. So the girl ends up flying back. Uh -huh. And blah, blah, blah. Like, they break. Like, I guess, like, before they, like, she flew back, like, they officially broke up. Right. And got back. And, um, and like, Sedona blocks her. Uh huh. And then Olivia comes out, just like, hey, how funny, like, on TikTok. And it was like, how funny is, I went down a rabbit hole, guys. Like, I, I got it. Yeah, you got the whole story. And over here. so Olivia was like, uh, made a TikTok, which is like, how funny is it when you forget um, that block text, mes top block text messages still come through your uh, compute for your um, MacBook? Oh, what? You're like, no, you're so if, wait, from iPhone? Block text messages. Block text messages still come through the Mac on book. your computer, okay. on your MacBook. Yeah, if you didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. Okay. I don't get blocked or I don't block. Yes, yeah, same. So. <laughs> like, she said that. She's like, how funny is it? So the block text met. So like, sh sh they were blocked from each other. I don't know if she blocked who, yeah. but they both blocked each other. But like Sedona, oh, obviously Olivia blocked Sedona because she still te sent the text. So Sedona texted Olivia and something on the lines of like, if you tell anybody the real reason we broke up, I will sue you and your family for everything. So until you have literally nothing. So it's something bad. Well, like how like she pushed her off the ATV and shit. Yeah. She's talking about that. Oh, okay. She's saying like, if you tell, if you go out in public and tell people that, right. I will sue you and your family for everything that you have. Okay. Because she didn't want to ruin her TikTok image and social media image. Yes, but you suing someone Which for you, you assaulting someone yeah. you can sue someone for assaulting someone yeah that's dumb i know that's not gonna pass yeah i know <laughs> yeah. so sedona literally assaulted this girl the girl literally went, flew home at paying for this trip right. still flew home broke up and sedona texted her off of the block text block text message and said that shit about like if you do this like so now there's like, so it, everything got leaked, right? Or like it was released, right? I, I don't know that part, um, but now like there's a battle. It's like kick her off of the. Is there's like gonna be like no lawsuit for like assaulting her on the ATV or anything? Like mm -hmm. okay, whatever. Like kick her off the team, and then now people are just bashing Sedona because she's like, like. Girl can't even get to the WNBA. She's playing her like eighth year in college. Right. Like, blah blah blah. Like she has like two masters now. Like pff, right. crazy shit. Cause she was like a sophomore like during COVID. Okay. Yeah. So she would be. She's still playing. Be her. She's still playing. Third year. Cause I was a freshman when COVID happened. So what year? She, uh, her third senior, super senior year. It'd be her third senior so she would be a super 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 senior, super senior. yeah because super senior first super senior sixth year fifth year fifth year so yeah she's in her seventh that's insane yeah so people are just like kick her off the team she doesn't need to be on the team like whatever like help hold her accountable for her actions yeah and for me i'll fucking sign that shit bro who she is fucking crazy yeah crazy Man, people be crazy out here. I'm gonna bro. look her up because I think you you probably have seen her, bro. She uh, like honestly, 
before all this stuff happened, like her stuff was super fucking interesting. Uh, like I'm not interested. Why is your shit like buried? You had to swipe like twice. Is all your apps on your like homepage still? What are you talking about? Damn, dude. Sorry. You no, you still have like all your apps on your homepage. You know how like usually you take them off and then do the little right swipe, uh-huh. and then it will bring up like your whole, whole app list. list. Yeah. No. Dang. Old school. Um. Have you ever seen her? Never seen that girl in my life. Okay. Well, she's fucking massive. I would ignore the fuck out of her videos. Bro, she's huge. I never seen her yeah. in my life. But uh um, she looks Yeah, I had to I had to say that to you, bro. And I thought I should have told you prior to us recording, but I thought you would I I don't know why I thought you would have known <clears throat> this before me. No, that's wild. It's just relationships, bro. Or people in re- fame and then relationships. Yeah. I agree. That saying that, crazy. bro, like, you're, like, tic- you're TikTok famous. You're not a fucking celebrity. But also, like... like And, like, even if you were, like, you still don't fucking say that shit. You don't do that stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand, like, if you're dating someone. Like, I don't understand the people that are, like, rude to their significant others. Yeah. Because, like... What the fuck is the point? You know what, what you, I'm saying? Yeah, like, like you're a horrible person. Yeah, cause like I mean, probably just for like the sex, but like, still like, nah. Oh. Why? What's the point of hanging out with the person if you just hate them? What's the point of dating if you hate yeah. the person? Because I feel like you hate the person if you just. And it goes both them. ways. Like if like if you could say that to like all those mean things to her, you don't fuck with her. And but like if you're gonna like, if you're gonna let her say that to you and like st- like why? Yeah, even it goes yeah the other way. Like, why are you still with like, her? The fact that you like the next day you were just like, I'll forget about it, bro. No, right. Shot. Like the good times can't be that good. No shot. No shot. No shot. To no outweigh shot. that bad. Absolutely not, bro. For anybody to be like, like after it, she pushed her off, she was literally going around like screaming in like Tulum, yeah, or wherever it was in Mexico. They said they were ATVing in the jungle, so I'm assuming it's Tulum. Like you don't do that in Cancun. But, I mean, uh, no, there's no spot. What do you mean? In Cancun? You're dead. Yes. You're dead. What do you mean you're dead? You're dead. If you're going to Tulum anywhere. is like only two hours from Cancun. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying that it, ha- it happened in Tulum. It had to have happened in Tulum. Why well, had to be in Tulum? Have you ever been to Cancun? Yes. There's no woods or jungle part that, that you we can go to when, off the resort. I mean, they could have been somewhere Tulum else other than Mexico. Jungle. No, it was in Mexico. Oh, I know okay. that. I know that for a fact. <laughs> I know that for a fact. But uh, so that's what I'm saying. Anyway, um, to be like screaming, like I'm single, like where like the other bitch is at and stuff like that. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, people get fame and then they just go off the rails. Like, yo, you being, you getting fame, letting, getting, letting TikTok fame go to your head is that's, the cringiest fucking shit I was ever. just about to say that. Like these Z-list ass Bro, like nobody gives a fuck about you. Like it's you. not like you're fucking. If you weren't six eight, nobody would recognize you on the street right. in us. No, not one double look. Right. No, not not one. Right. Like that's what I don't understand. Like even people with like hundred thousand followers or two hundred thousand followers, five hundred thousand, or even like they're one million. You know what I'm saying? Like you're average as. Yeah, fuck. that's what I'm saying. Like you're not like. Okay, I will say Jordan Childs, she just hit a million, but she's different. Like, we know Jordan Childs. Do you know Jordan Childs? No. Oh, my God. I, I, I just heard of the name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. But anyway, that proves my point. But anyway. Like, she's an Olympic gymnast. That's what I'm saying. She's not, like, she's a higher ranked celebrity yeah. than, you know, a TikTok yes. celebrity. You know what I'm yes, saying? So, absolutely. like, I don't understand She has why. something, too. Right. That girl has nothing. Right. And I just don't understand, like, the people that do get tiktok famous or instagram famous or whatever off these apps rather than being like a so a-list celebrity yeah. or even unless B-list. you pop off like fucking um who's the main one what's her fucking name oh god what the fuck's her name who addison ray where she got like uh. millions and millions <laughs> of followers no no hear me out here hear me out here's the difference where she got millions and millions of followers From- 
and then did a couple of shitty movies, and then very did, shitty, movies. very <laughs> shitty movies, very shitty movies. She's a terrible actor. But um, and then also on top of those movies, she also did like makeup or something. Like she now she's like now like she's becoming into a into a quote unquote celebrity because she's doing other things. But also like I don't even like, hear about her anymore. I know neither do I. <laughs> but I'm saying like that's a good example because like okay like that's different than somebody just having like a million followers on TikTok. Like if you just have a mil- like bro, yeah, I know, I know that there's probably. Like fucking, unless you're like Keith Lee, like food reviewers have like a million or like eight hundred, bro. You are the most average person ever. Like, don't, like, bro. Right. Like, I don't know. It's just like a, I don't know. Don't let, don't ever let shit get to your head like that. Like, humble your fucking self. That's dude. what I'm saying. Enjoy like, your success, but fucking humble yourself because that shit. I don't care. She probably has millions on. She probably has a few million to be honest. Right. Because of like how long she's been in it, consistently posting of her popping off in, during COVID. Right. It's three fucking years. Yeah, true. Already. Gonna be four years. True. So like, you know, she's gonna have that following, but like she's still not shit. Yeah. She's still not shit. You don't fucking get to be a shitty person and yeah. do that. Like, damn, I feel bad for Olivia. And then Oli- text. Text, if you say anything like this to ruin my reputation, I'll sue for every sue you for everything you have. What are you talking right. about? Like you act like you're like Kim K or some yeah. shit. Yeah, like, like you, she no, signed an NDA or something. Talk <laughs> about you, bro. Yeah. That's funny as fuck. Yeah, I feel bad for that girl, but like Olivia, go listen to "Please, Please, Please" by Serena, <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina Carpenter. That song is gas. I was listening to that it on the way gas, here. Bro. That shit is gas. I've been fucking with her. Sorry, I did not mean to switch up. It's just no, this you're good. came up because she's going through a bad time. Sabrina in that song, she was going through a bad time. Or she was wishing that he would do better. Who, though? I don't know. Yeah, because like I didn't hear about her dating anybody until the bear, the guy from Saltburn. But you know, like, which one? Barry? The, the motherfucker? The psycho one? Yeah. Oh, she, God. Bro, they've been dating for a while. No way. Yeah. Her what? And Sa- him and Sabrina Carpenter, yeah. Bro, like over a year. Dang, I didn't Before know that. Mo- yeah. Well, to be fair, I okay, so I was a huge Sabrina Carpenter fan when she was on uh Girls Meets World. Yeah. Cause good mo- good uh good show. Yeah. She was just funny. She it's probably was probably well, one of the only spin-offs that I kind of enjoyed. Yeah. She was funny. She was like the the bad bad one. Yeah, the bad one. Yeah. Even Jade and Victoria's. I was always a fan of her because she was... I don't know. I like the villains. For, anyways. It's fair. <laughs> it's anyways. Fair. But, uh, yeah, so I was a fan of her during that. And then I completely just, like, for, didn't forget about her, but I forgot about her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'll see her every now and then. And then, like, she started making music. I was like, dang. Man. I didn't even know she could sing. You know what I'm saying? And then she started making more music. And then, like, this year, she's barely been popping off. And I've been enjoying her. You know, it's always crazy to me to think that Ariana Grande was just like a backup character. That's what I fuck like I Ariana Grande I, and Victoria's. I just thought like, about that. Like, cause like, if you're like, if I was t- talking about like Victoria's, like, oh, like characters, like she's not one of the first ones I mentioned. Yeah. Like, if I'm not saying actually like Tori, I'm saying I'm saying Jade. Yeah. Yeah. And then her. Yeah. And then the sister. Yeah. No, for sure. But like. like Jade because I saw I saw a TikTok she was on a she was on a podcast of that guy you know that guy that used to like he went viral for like acting like things like he would act like a uh like who went on who went on the pod or Jade went on the podcast I can't Elizabeth Giles is that her real name Liz Giles or something like that but um she went on a podcast of the dude that used to act like it they were like someone would comment like uh act like uh like some scene out of like ah what is it like it's like holy shit i'm saying like a lot it'll be like <laughs> bro wait wait re- wait, wait just wait. rebooted <laughs> wait wait okay it would be like act like a pumpkin who didn't get picked for like Halloween or some shit, you know, like it, okay. it would be like something like that. Okay. And it would be like funny as fuck, but he got, he went viral for that, but he was, she was on his podcast and he was asking her like, if they were still cool and stuff like that. And I was like, see, you're not asking the juicy shit. Like I would have asked, like, did y'all know Ariana Grande was like 
the best singer and yeah. then like no one, yeah. like, nobody gave a fuck yeah like no one gave a fuck or like because they started talking about ariana's music like her recent album that just dropped and how they love it and stuff like that and i was just like why are you not asking like did y'all know Tori was the worst singer out of all of y'all? Or did like, you know like <laughs> that she was coming out with music? Right. Like, like she was about to be the next yeah, the big, big pop thing. star. Yeah. Like did y'all know that was happening? Or yeah. did y'all just see her as like a back? Like I yeah. would be asking questions like that, but like that's why she popped off harder than fucking Miley Cyrus, dude. Like when Ariana Grande was Ariana Grande. Yeah. She was uh, on with everybody. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Miley's era is crazy. Crazy, but and good, but like, bro, I don't know. Like, she never. She was on with everybody, bro. She was true, from, but from, she's a, from popping off to just her with Mac to after after Mac was like every single feature was with her, bro. Yeah, that's because she crazy. has like she's just Jesse J, Nicki Minaj, bro. Everybody. You know, it took me a while to. Uh, Figure out that she was the one featured on Mac Miller's song, the uh, the way. Yeah, that no. took me forever to realize because I didn't oh, see the music video. I didn't see the music oh. video. I just heard the music and I oh. always knew the song. I always knew the words to the song, et cetera, et cetera. And then I like that's how went, I found out they were dating. Really? Yeah. I don't remember how they I got found they out. got like really up close personal. I was just like, huh. and somebody like when I was like middle school, were like, yeah, they're dating. And I was like, ah, I never seen the music video, and, and I was then, just like, wow, sorry to re- keep it. No, you're TV. good. And then one day I was on YouTube, like playing music, and that music video mm-hmm. came up. It was like years and years ago. Don't act like this was yesterday, but like years and years ago, the YouTube video came up, and I was like, okay, no shot. She was the one singing because like. I don't know. To me, in that song, it sounded like a black girl. No offense, but really, yeah. Or like I was, cause her vocals. Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna do this. Never mind. I'm not even gonna say anything about that, cause I don't want to do anything. But her vocals. I was thinking, cause her vocals are similar to Mariah Carey. Yes. So I was thinking Mariah Carey was singing that song. Imagine Mariah Carey and Mac Miller, bro. <laughs> that was a collab So I was century. like, oh, shit. Bro thought Mariah Carey was just like, yeah, Mac Miller's my next, like, hit. Yeah. No shot. And then I was just like, okay. And then I saw the video. I was like, ah, that makes so much sense now. But, yeah. It was just a dumb moment of mine. But, yeah, Ariana bro. Grande's, what, yeah. Bro, if, R.I.P. Mac. If Mac was still alive, bro, like, none of these other guys would ever be in the picture, bro. They would get married. Oh, yeah, for sure. But she's like, isn't she a husband still there? Yeah, that fucking <laughs> ugly-ass SpongeBob. I know. <laughs> bro, he's so ugly, bro. I hate to, do, I hate to judge people. But low-key, people. her looks have gone down since she started getting plastic or Botox mm, and nah, stuff. I, um, she has Compared a, to she has she... A, No, she has a really unhealthy, like, eating disorder that she, like, addressed. Yeah, right. So, like... Her face changed drastically, but it's like very unhealthy. I feel bad. I like literally like I feel like if she was able to put the like some of the weight back on, that like her face would kind of just go kind of back. But like it's like so sunken and like so like just depleted. Yeah, feel bad. It looks like Kim K's when she doesn't wear makeup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, she's she's vocal a one. Insane, insane. But yeah, I got some news before we close this out today. What? For the people, not for you, for the people. Okay. So you just sit over there. Um, so it's some sad news, actually. <laughs> Let me get it together real quick. So your boy, right, decided to take the leap and... Shoot my shot with Mr. Ian Hook, hmm? and he rejected my ass. What the fuck are you talking about? Our date, bro. Oh, lunch? <laughs> bro, you guys was like, what the fuck are you talking he was, about? Like, he was over here sweating. Oh, no, he rejected me. He said, damn, you black motherfucker. Oh, Yo! whoa. Oh, whoa. I didn't mean to say that. Oh. I didn't mean to say that. Oh. Wait, wait. I was scratch that. Wait, no. You're going to put me on like Sedona type shit right now, bro. Oh, you oh, were saying you ugly motherfucker. That's damn. What I'm to say. Damn, bro. Ooh, that I have one text it. messages that I can release no, that I never I said it. that. <laughs> he said, are you kidding me? You ugly piece of shit. 
Never in my life. Da, 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 da. I was never going to. Da, da. Oh my God. But bro. no. Asked bro to go to lunch and he, I just had he, dinner plans. He rejected me. I just had dinner plans. <laughs> but, but I did say next week we rain checked. Yeah. And the reason is to be transparent to the people. He asked me like, what was that, three weeks ago? Uh, two. Four weeks ago? Two that was probably recorded. a month ago. Two when we recorded. Mm, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But yeah, and then I think we were both tired. Yeah, I asked him to. I asked him uh, for lunch just because we had to catch up on a lot of shit beyond the podcast. Um, and you were just exhausted, and I was from working, working and work. Yeah, yeah, working you had work, and, work, and yeah. um, I was honestly just running through the day, and I was like, "That's that's fine." With green check, uh, yeah, yeah, and then I was planning. We was planning on, or I texted him about today because to be transparent me and ian don't see each other every day anymore very very um very true no i was gonna say very often very what's the opposite of off very i don't need very is not a good word to put in that sentence if you're doing the opposite Uh, of off very unlikely that we see each other oh yeah so uh yeah we just gotta catch up because um, I don't know. I don't really watch the podcast episodes back, uh, because I lived it <laughs> and yeah. I edited it too. But um, I don't know. It's just like for me, I feel like we need to not need to, but I kinda. would like us to kind of yeah get by, back get back on a track. Yeah, not, like I was gonna ask you, a like, track just a track, just because we've been very very like AJ's AJ's like path right now my path like not that like it's supposed it, to be this so, way yeah, 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 it's yeah. just like we don't our paths don't cross like a lot now right like we have separate paths but i feel like when we first started this podcast it was more we still had our separate paths but like yeah like how you saying like we our train inter- tracks we inter- inter- yeah, yeah we intertwined a lot some point and like now it's not because for one we're not at the same gym anymore yeah. as of right now um so I don't see you at the gym, and then we're out here doing our own stuff on work. the weekends, and yeah. work is crazy. Traveling, yeah. So like, we just haven't seen each other. Yeah. So that's if the whole point. Realized, like traveling has been a huge thing this summer, yeah, and kind of like before, probably since like April or Mar- March, March to April. Mm-hmm. So it's been quite a few. I've I've been traveling a lot. Um, so on top of traveling, both our work schedules, we have completely different opposite careers. Yeah. So like we yeah, yeah we just don't see and especially now at the gym, Newton is wants to play. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I was just saying like if y'all felt some type of I wouldn't say vibe. That's why like we haven't yeah. seen each other enough to like kind of bounce off one another like we used to because we were seeing each other every day yeah and that's also and why it, you hear us say like what's new yeah all, like, like so much we haven't talked because like it's literally like what's new right so i just wanted to be transparent yeah. i didn't want y'all to assume and i didn't i don't want this podcast to become where we're basically co-workers rather yeah. than you know because like that's not how we started we started it because we were friends and then or we are friends. I know you mean that. Yeah, know you mean. <laughs> Not coworkers. I would have just started it with my yeah. coworker if I wanted to podcast. But anyways, just to be transparent, if y'all felt that vibe or anything, just to go off the joke I made earlier. Yeah. So yeah, that's why we always be nice like, way to What's explain up? it. Yeah. But yep, yeah, that's it. Um, you want to close it out? Thank you for tuning in <laughs> to another episode of Identical Opposites Podcast Show. <laughs> it was real. Yep. Um, I think we're getting more real and real as we go uh, by now. Very blunt, very transparent. Um, different topic today, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, um, glad we can kind of finish it off on the topic of what AJ just, uh, you know, laid out for everybody. Um, it's kind of been where we're at. So we're just trying to get back on track. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and look forward to the next one. See you next week. Peace. Well, yeah, let's see you next one. (laughs) Peace. Bye.